On March 7, there's a full moon in Virgo, and Saturn is just hours away from going into Pisces. That's something it hasn't done since May of 1993. What does this mean for you? That's what we're going to talk about. Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your Practical Astrologer, and today we are talking about the full moon. It's on March 7, it's at 16 degrees of Virgo. We're going to do a short overview, and then we're going to go sign by sign. So Saturn is entering the sign of Pisces. This is something it hasn't done since May 1993. And so when a planet changes signs, it's quite a significant event. Uh, so this means that there is different energy, and that energy unfolds during the transit of that planet. Now, one of the things that we used to do long ago is we would uh, look at the newspaper headlines or things that were popular at the time at the moment when the planet ingressed into a new sign. And this would give us kind of a, a feeling of what the general population was experiencing during that transition. Of course, that's not so easy to do today because there's not really newspaper headlines anymore. It's more like there's news sources from everywhere. Let's take a look back in May 1993 and see what was popular then. Now, Janet Jackson's song, That's the Way Love Goes, was at the top of the charts in May 1993. This song is about how a person could be blind to love, uh, drawn to something, whether it's good for them or not. For example, there's a line in the song that says, like a moth to the flame burned by the fire. And so there's this energy of having us, well, at least at the time, <laughs> you know, back then, looking at what we were drawn to, look at what was compelling, pulling us forward that may not have been so beneficial. And I think that this is true today because, you know, there's a lot of things in our lives right now that are very sweet distractions. And these distractions done in moderation, they're wonderful, and done to excess, they can be harmful. And they are engineered to help us do them to excess. And so Saturn in Pisces is very much about this energy of what are you attracted to? What are you drawn to? And setting up some boundaries for yourself. So Pisces rules addiction and escape and Saturn rules structure and discipline. And we're putting those two energies together so that we can have our vacation, so we can have our time playing the video games and watching videos, etc., and not get lost in all of that. So then going back again to 1993, uh, after May, Saturn went retrograde and it went back into Aquarius for a little bit and then finally entered Pisces again in January 1994. And at the time, the most popular song was by Brian Adams, Rod Stewart, and Sting, and it was called All for Love. Now, some of the lines in this song are things like, I'll make a stand, I won't break, that's, that's very Saturn, or, or I'll be the rock you can build on, very Saturn, or I'll be there when you're old, very Saturn. <laughs> so, so all of these things are about, you know, having a structure, having, being strong, being, having boundaries. And, and then there's a line that says, I'll be the one that protects you from the wind and the rain. And so the wind and the rain representing the Pisces, the chaos, the confusion, the storm, and Saturn saying, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to be solid. And so that as we got into the Saturn in Pisces, there was this resolve of saying, I'm going to use this Saturn energy in a very positive way. I'm going to find the boundaries. I'm going to be there for you, for others, as well as for myself. And so that is, you know, the, the essence of it last time applies this time. Now, we don't know yet what the Saturn and Pisces song will be because we're not quite there yet. Uh, but I did look at the current most popular song, which is representing Saturn in Aquarius. And that song is Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Now, this is a song about independence and freedom. You know, she says that she can buy herself flowers, that, that she can talk to herself for hours, that, that she can take herself dancing, she can hold her own hand. This is very much about, 
you know, I, I only need me. I don't need you. And so that is the Aquarian energy where everybody's independent, everybody's unique, etc. And then, you know, the, the group aspect of Aquarius is we can all be unique together. And so it'll be very interesting to see what happens in a month if that song holds and we're going to take that into the Saturn in Pisces, or if another song is going to rise up, which I would expect, that, that we'll talk about the, uh, the difference between the Saturn being such a structure and disciplined energy in that Pisces, which is that wibbly-wobbly, you know, no boundaries sort of energy. So this is our opportunity to notice what we're paying attention to. Uh, right now, as you're listening to this video, is probably still Saturn in Aquarius. And so look at what you're, you're focused on. What, maybe you're focused on what you're not finishing up, what you should be finishing up, but also where are you independent? Where can you retain that ability to do whatever you want, whenever you want? And then notice uh, as we go into Saturn in Pisces, how you might shift to be, all right, how can I be a rock in the storm? How can I have stability when there is so much um, instability around? So you may ask yourself, are you finding ways to love and take care of yourself, as Miley Cyrus is talking about in her song? Or are you doing what Janet Jackson suggested? Are you the moth drawn to the flame and then you're burned in the fire? Now, if you want to know more, and I think you do because you're watching this video, uh, I have some video courses out. Uh, there's a course I have out on I'm reading the tarot. Tarot cards are extremely useful for helping you make everyday decisions, helping you uh, read for friends and family, and help them with decisions, so I highly recommend it. I also have a mini class on the Flying Star, so this is a feng shui technique. Uh, if you use Flying Star, this uh, class covers both 2023 and 2024, so there are links in the description. For this video, today we are doing Tropical Western Astrology. You're going to want to listen to your ascending sign or your rising sign as well as your sun sign. Uh, the rising sign is going to tell you more about what's happening to you, whereas the sun sign will tell you more about things for your own spiritual growth, um, you know, how you can move forward through this world successfully. I also do readings, I write books, and I write monthly and weekly columns on horoscope.com and astrology.com. And I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. It has meant so much to me that I am able to talk to you this way. You know, uh, for years I taught classes uh, in, you know, live classes, and so I could only see people in my area or wherever I was traveling to, and it's so great that I get to talk to so many of you, so I really appreciate this. Um, I have a newsletter, and it will announce future classes. I have another class coming up uh, this month in February, and I'm planning some classes for March and April, so if you want to get information about those classes, and those are Zoom classes, um, just sign up for my newsletter on my website. Okay, let's go sign by sign. Okay, Aries, you guys are doing this full moon in your sixth house. This is about work, health, and daily routines. And uh, that means the height of energy is in this area. At the same time, Saturn is leaving your 11th house, and that is friendships, technology, and also community involvement. So this combination can mean that you are extremely busy over the next two weeks. There may be some work obligations, networking things, uh, maybe something going on with technology. You may feel an enormous amount of pressure to get something done uh, by a deadline, and that deadline might be more arbitrary than you think. So the, you might feel the pressure, especially from others who are saying this has to happen within this time frame. And but be aware that they, they could be giving you an artificial deadline because of Saturn changing signs, uh, because it gives this impression that something has to be finished. So you can ask yourself whether this really needs to be done, or if you just want to use this energy to carry yourself forward on something maybe that you've been procrastinating on. 
because this is lighting up your area of work, there can be uh, issues going on with coworkers. Uh, you know, again, somebody saying something has to be finished uh, in, before a specific deadline, and maybe they're a little bit more flexible than they're saying. There may be some things about your health that you need to pay attention to, and how you could use the Saturn leaving the sign is to let go of something, let go of a habit that you've had that maybe isn't as beneficial for you as it could be if it was done in moderation. So uh, look at something that way, or maybe let go of doing some sort of health thing alone and go find community to do this in, like going to a class or uh, going to um, a place where other people are doing the same activity. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, the sun is making a square to Mars. That is really good energy for meeting someone, especially meeting someone where you just bump into the person and you start talking or, you know, you have this sudden urge to text somebody that you have seen on online dating. Now, it's the interesting part is it starts with this communication, but you want to try to meet in person. That's where you're going to really know if this person's going to work out for you. So if you've been talking to a person for a while, maybe then it's time to actually meet in person. So because you have some very powerful energy this time. Now, when it comes to your existing love relationship, uh, Mars is making a sextile to Venus, and so you have an opportunity to have a lot of harmony this time. That means that there's better communication between the two of you. You know, Venus is in your own sign of Aries, Mars is in your house of communication, and so it, it's really time to state what you want. There's something about how you say it now that your partner's going to understand. You're going to understand them more easily, and so I think this is a good time to sit down, have a conversation about the things that are bothering you, and a lot of stuff can be cleared up, maybe even in one conversation. Now, when it comes to friendships, Mars is making a semi-sextile to Uranus, and Saturn is leaving your house of friendships, which means that friendships are going to get easier. The semi-sextile is still not a great aspect. Uh, it is an aspect, so that does mean you can meet someone, but there's going to be something where the timing is not quite right, where you are feeling like you want to get together, but they're just about to travel around the world or something. But as Saturn leaves this house, a lot of the restrictions that you've had over friendships and meeting new people is going to dissipate. And so over the next few months, you're going to find it easier to meet friends, but you do have a little bit of energy uh, for that over the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Venus, which is in your own sign of Aries. So you're very focused right now on some uh, opportunity or maybe several opportunities and you're trying to take action as quickly as possible. And that's, that's what this energy says to do. This energy will shift at some point where you can slow down a little bit, but if you've noticed that you're procrastinating, you want to find a way to get past that procrastination and take action. This doesn't necessarily mean to be huge actions. These could be small actions, you know, just starting to do your website or, um, you know, sending an invoice off to someone, etc. cetera. Um, but this says take some action. That's where the money is. Now, when it comes to money from your business or from traditional investments, Venus is not making an aspect with Pluto. It's right now, it's showing that you're doing a lot of the things, some of it behind the scenes, some of it, as I said, taking some action. You're not quite getting the paycheck yet. This energy will line up in the future and it's, it's going to be more intense as we go forward and so you'll have bigger opportunities. But right now, this is just laying the groundwork for money that you're going to make in the future. And so if you're feeling frustrated that people are not paying quickly, that's what this is. They, it looks like they will pay. It's just not happening on your schedule. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, so that's like a paycheck, Venus is making a semi-sextile to Uranus. So there is some opportunities here. I like the fact that Venus rules your house of money and Uranus rules your house of money derived from career. So there is a stronger connection than just a semi-sextile would indicate. But a semi-sextile still means that you have to get over a little bit of a hurdle to get this goal. And that is you've got to nail down your boss and have that conversation. Or maybe you have to pull together some supporting materials to say why you need a raise right now. 
etc. So uh, you have some good energy. This will line up better in the future, but if you're feeling like this is the time and, you know, with Venus and Aries, you might, then go for it because you do have a good positive connection. Okay, Taurus, you guys are doing this full moon, lighting up your house of creativity, self-expression, uh, risk-taking, adventure, romance, as well as kids. Uh, so there could be a lot of time and energy you're spending on children over the next four weeks. Well, two weeks, because this is a full moon. So two weeks. Um, so, but, you know, it, it may be that they are off. Uh, and so you're seeing them more. Maybe they have tests coming up. And so you're spending time helping them with that. But a lot of this is around what you are doing creatively or to express yourself, to express your own individuality. And at the same time, we have Saturn, which is leaving your house of career, which means that you could have a supervisor or some sort of business thing putting an awful lot of pressure on you to finish something. And so what happens is you get all this pressure from work and then maybe the kids are pulling at you, maybe a creative project is pulling at you. And so you may feel some frustration in that you don't have enough time to do the things that you want to do or spend it with the people you want to spend time with. But what you need to realize is everyone in the world is feeling this Saturn leaving this sign, but they may not be aware of its effects on them. So they may feel a lot of pressure to get something done when in actuality, it doesn't need to be finished exactly when they're saying it is. So the external pressure that you're receiving, if it's from some authority, like a boss, if they said this is the deadline, then of course you have to follow through on that, but then realize that you'll have more time for fun and creativity pretty soon after Saturn does change signs. But if this is a deadline that seems more arbitrary, you may push back on that and say, you know, can we wait on this? Can we, can we just bump this out a little bit because I have other obligations? Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, even though Venus is not making an aspect with Mercury, the moon is in that house. And so you do have this area lit up, which could mean that you are very much available for a love relationship. You might be texting people or trying to get a date. And what's happening is the timing seems to be off. Uh, they are traveling or they're really booked or they're not receiving your messages. So try not to get frustrated about this. It's really good at this time to put yourself out there, you know, maybe to meet with your matchmaker or to put your online profile up or enhance that profile with some new photos or things like that. So doing, taking those steps, because when these two planets do line up and that person then sees you across the room and crosses the room to ask you out, you'll be ready. And then when we look at uh, existing love relationships, Venus is not making an aspect with Pluto. And I don't want you to feel bad. Not many people are doing aspects and not many signs are doing aspects at all during this two week period, because when we get something as intense as this Saturn changing signs, it, the universe gives us some time to think about other things. And so this says that your love relationship is pretty much going on as usual. There's not a lot you can fix about it. There's, there might not even be a lot of interaction between the two of you. You might be very busy doing your own, you know, things on your different sides of the house. And, you know, so things are just moving along as they were before, because this is freeing you up to give you more energy to work on finishing things and, you know, finding ways for self-expression. Now, when it comes to friendships, uh, Venus is making a semi-sextile to Neptune, plus in that house we have Mercury, Sun, and Neptune. And so there is some opportunities for friendships. This may mean that you're going to be in a group of people you, you haven't met, but that you share maybe an interest in a hobby or a cause. Uh, you may have a friend introduce you to someone new, or maybe a friend is traveling with some others and they're going to come to your town. So there's something going on here with an opportunity to meet someone new. It's a semi-sextile, so you may skip it. You know, it's, it's very easy to skip a semi-sextile. You say, oh, I don't have time to go to this meeting, or I don't really want to go to this party. So, but it, this would encourage you to say, if you did, there's an opportunity to meet someone. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Mercury, which is in your house of 
community uh, networking. <laughs> you see, I'm on a theme here, but also money derived from career. So there's an interesting thing. If you work for yourself, you may be longing for that regular paycheck. And if you have a regular paycheck, uh, you may be thinking, oh, it'd be so nice if I could supplement this with my own business. So I think that you are looking at different ideas and different ways of making money. You also may find someone in the community who says that they have some great idea. You know, uh, maybe they are putting together some sort of business. Uh, maybe this has to do with uh, network marketing or something like that, which I wouldn't really recommend, but you know, it works for some people, but not very many. Um, this also may be that there is some new technology out there because 11th house is about technology that is uh, giving you some opportunities to make money. Now, when it comes to money derived from your investments or your business, uh, Mercury is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. So it says you are going to make money when you take care of the little things. And so you may want to look at that little list of things that you need to do to upgrade your website or to make the order process easier. Maybe you have some small adjustments to make in the prices. Maybe you need to send off some invoices. Uh, maybe you need to do a little diversification of your portfolio. So look at the little things you can do, and that's going to bring you money. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, even though Mercury is not making an aspect with Neptune, Neptune is in that house and Mercury is in that house along with the sun. So I think that you have a very good chance of getting a raise. Now, I think, of course, the raise would take effect outside this two-week period. It'll probably find that period where the, those planets line up, the Mercury and Neptune. Uh, but this is a good time to ask because it looks like they were thinking that you should get some more money, but they're going to wait until you ask. And so this is a good time to bring it up and say, you know, let's talk about my career future. And even if they say, oh, we can't give this to you yet, the it still looks positive for setting the date and time for where you're going to talk about it in the future. Okay, Gemini, you guys are doing this full moon in your house of home and family. So that means a lot of attention on family right now. Uh, there might be somebody, something going on with the family or maybe something going on with the dwelling itself. And at the same time, Saturn is leaving your house of education. And so there may be a lot of pressure that you're feeling if you're in school, that you have deadlines, and those are deadlines you can't really fudge. You know, you, you kind of have to stick to them. Uh, you might have deadlines that a test is coming up. There may be something for recertification of a professional license or that you are studying to take a, a test for a license. And if you don't take it at this particular time, you have to wait six months. So there may be a lot of pressure on you at the same time that all you have all this stuff going on at home. So if you're feeling, though, pressure to go back to school or something like that, if you're feeling pressure to, you know, jump into some education program, maybe an expensive one, you want to be aware that some of the pressure, especially external pressure, where other people are saying you must enroll by this date or, you know, and this, I'm focused on uh, education, but of course, this could also be travel. It can also be legal matters. So the, if somebody is putting extra pressure on you right now, it's possible that they're feeling this late degree of Saturn, that they're feeling the pressure, but this pressure may not be an actual deadline. And so you do want to check with them to say, you know, okay, the, you're saying if I don't enroll now, I can never enroll ever, and they will probably soften their position. So, uh, so if you're feeling external pressure from others, especially about school, travel, or legal matters, you may want to check with them to see if those deadlines are ex really real. And if that person is an authority, like the teacher or, you know, the lawyer or somebody like that, then maybe it's true. But if it's just somebody who is trying to get you to enroll, you know, or buy a flight or something like that, it may not be true. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, Venus is not making an aspect with Mercury. And yet you have a lot of planets elevated. So you're easy to see, but you're not really paying attention. So you might want to enlist a friend to tell you 
who's looking at you, who just asked you out that you didn't even notice, or to give you a little push in this area, or just take these two weeks off and focus on home and family, focus on what you want to do with, with your education or your travel or things like that to get that all finished up. So think about it in those terms and then put love on the back burner for the moment. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, Mercury is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. So there's an opportunity to come together, to have a conversation. And the conversation starts with the little details. It starts with maybe the little thing that this person does that bugs you. And so you get just get to talk it out. Or a new thing that you're going to do together, and you have to work out some of the steps to do it. So look at starting with the small things rather than something like, you know, everything you do bugs me. That's not a semi-sextile energy. It, it could be that, you know, you don't put your stuff in the dishwasher that bugs me. And that that's something that then it's tangible, it's, it's a small thing. And so then a conversation can happen about the bigger things. So I do see that there are opportunities to improve your relationship over the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from the moon, which is in that house of home and family. So something is going on here where maybe you are pooling resources together with family members to do some sort of investing. It's possible that you're giving a lot to family members and you need to maybe put the brakes on or maybe make it a more structured uh, way that you're giving, i.e. a loan where there's paperwork and everybody signs. Now, when it comes to uh, money derived from your business or from investments, uh, the moon's not making an aspect with Saturn. However, of course, Saturn's all we've been talking about. And so Saturn is making a big change. And that means that you need to look at what you need to change in your business, not now specifically, but maybe over the next month, but certainly over the next six months. There are new trends for you to consider. Uh, people will be interested in different things. Um, areas that maybe had felt difficult in the past will get a little easier, and easier areas in the past will now get more difficult. And so they, there is some different changes. This also applies to your investments. You may need to look at moving money or diversifying your funds a little bit more. So because the market could shift and some things that were depressed in the past now don't have that restriction on them. But now other things that were really just riding up uh, in the past now have the pressure of Saturn on them. So you want to take a look at where you should make some changes. A lot of those would be very specific to your chart. Um, but I did do a more detailed uh, video on Saturn in Pisces where I talked about uh, some of the different things from which you could derive some information. And there's a link in the description uh, for that video. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, you have a very strong chart. The moon is making a square to Mars. Uh, we have Mercury and Sun and Neptune in your house of career, Jupiter and Venus in your house of money derived from career. So exceptionally strong time to be asking for a raise or negotiating for a higher salary if you're looking for a new job. Uh, you can get a, a stronger position in your current job. Uh, so anything to do with getting money from, you know, someone else, uh, like uh, if you're a contract employee, signing a contract for more money, all of these things are quite possible over this next two weeks. Okay, Cancer, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up your house of communication, thinking process. Also, this represents your siblings, uh, neighbors, short distance travel, uh, also paperwork and you know, things like agreements um, or just, you know, keeping track of things. Uh, and then Saturn is getting ready to leave your eighth house. And so one of the positives is that some of the restrictions that have been on other people's resources, you know, getting help from others is going to be lifted. That's fantastic. But in the meantime, a lot of people may be pulling at you saying you have promised them things and that they need it now, now, now. And it, there'll be the question of whether that obligation exists, and even if it does, whether that has to be done at a certain time. So you also have this last opportunity to 
see if your values are in alignment with the other person's values to say, you know, maybe they, you know, really value their own security much more than whether you are, you know, doing what you're supposed to do or doing something that you want to do. You know, so there's, there can be this question of whether you should be in a transaction with this person at all, or whether this is something that once this transaction is done, that you uh, dissolve this partnership. Uh, so, and to make that more specific, that might mean that if you are treated badly by an institution or a company, maybe to take your business elsewhere. Um, it also may be that someone is waiting for some sort of paperwork from you and they had given you a longer period of time to do this in and now that they're, now they're saying, oh my gosh, I need this right away. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, um, uh, the moon is making a sesco quadrant to Pluto. Uh, now, a sesco quadrant is a really interesting aspect. It, it's, uh, the symbol is a combination of a square and a semi-square, so that can give you an idea that this is not the easiest of aspects, though it can feel quite compelling. So the, the, the story that I like to give, or the picture that I want to give you is I don't know if you remember or, you know, maybe you're not old enough for this, but that long ago you used to go to the carnival and there would be this, this carnival game where you would take a ping pong ball, you would bounce it, and if it landed in a little cup that had a fish in it, you would get to win the fish. And so, so of course, this is very challenging to do, first of all, like because you're bouncing the ping pong ball, you're not just tossing it. And so it, you would do it sometimes. Sometimes it would go into the, the bowl that had the little fish in it. And so everybody would cheer and it's all exciting. And then they give you the fish. And then you thinking, wait, I don't have a fish bowl. I got to go get fish food. Uh, you know, the fish is upset because a big ping pong ball just bonked him in the head. You know, so there, there's all of these additional things that happen when you get your wish. And that's the energy that you're doing this time. So uh, in other words, you know, right now you could find somebody for a love relationship, but it's going to come with a bunch of other things that may or may not be good. I mean, you may be very happy that now you have the fish and then you can take the fish home and put this fish with the other fish that you have and then everything is wonderful. And I don't know how that would fit with a love relationship, but... But more probably what happens is that the person comes into your life and now you have to reorder your schedule at a time where that is difficult. And so that's the sesco quadrant. That was a really long way of telling you that's the energy that you're doing. When it comes to existing love relationships, there's no aspect going on between the moon and Saturn. Saturn is getting ready to change signs. So there may be something that you're both waiting for. Maybe this is something external that needs to change and then you can discuss it, like a job change or moving or something like that. Or this is just that things are rolling on pretty peacefully and then when Saturn does change signs, that then there'll be something different happening in your lives and then you'll deal with it because you, you can and you have each other. So right now things are just rolling along as, and you're waiting for something to change. Now, when it comes to friendships, the moon is making an ink junk to Venus. And this means there's an opportunity to make friends, but you will have to make some adjustments or they'll have to make some adjustments to make this happen. And so that might mean that you're invited to a social occasion, but you have to move some other things around to get to this. Or it's a social occasion, but you don't really want to go. But if you do go, you could meet somebody. Uh, so, and it may also be an adjustment in that this person may not be the type of person that you were expecting. You know, maybe they have different political views or they like a different sports team, but you get along so well that you put that aside and then you can have the friendship. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from the sun, which is in your house of knowledge and education, also belief systems. So what's really important now is to gain more knowledge. And that is that, uh, for you to make more money, you either have to work on your skills and hone your skills so that you can put those on your resume, or you can 
uh, take the time now to learn about all the different ways to make money. You know, with technology changing, there's a, a bunch of new ways that people can make money. Things that were impediments before are falling away. Things that were sure things before are no longer. So looking at some of the changes and educating yourself, this is going to bring lots of ideas and money possibilities. Now, when it comes to money derived from your uh, business or from your investments, the sun's making a sextile to Uranus. So there's an opportunity for you to make more money over the next two weeks. This is when you take some sort of action. You, you can't rest on your laurels. You have to go out and do something. And when you do, then good things happen. And then when we look at money derived from career, so that's like a paycheck, the sun is making a semi-sextile to Venus. So there is an opportunity to get at least a small raise or some other small perk. So you may want to wait until this lines up better to actually ask for the raise, maybe ask for some extra time off or, uh, you know, some some flexibility on a deadline or something like that. You can uh, certainly ask about upper positions and things and get information now. So there's some possibilities here. You might be offered a smaller raise, and so you might want to also negotiate for something higher with that semi-sextile. You want to get into the details and say, well, you know, what can I do to make this, you know, a bigger raise, etc. Okay, Leo, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up your house of money. So that means a lot of money opportunities are available for you now. Money that was being very slow to come to you now can come forward, which is very good. So you could have a profitable two weeks. We'll dive into the specifics on your money in a moment. Now, Saturn is also going to be leaving your house of relationships. And so in some ways, this means that some of the restrictions that were on connections, partnerships, collaborations, and love relationships are getting removed. That's fantastic. But it also is up to you to now start reaching out to people because that impediment is going away. Now, it is going away right after this period of time. So, you know, give it a little bit of space. Don't expect everything to happen all at once. Uh, this is a two and a half year transit. And so it, it needs a little, little bit of runway. But what you can do is start reaching out to people, start thinking about who you'd like to collaborate with, who you want to partner with, who could be a mentor, who could be a guide for you. And Additionally, this is opening up some opportunities for friendships also, and even love relationships. But again, let's get into those specifics. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, the sun is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. So there is an opportunity to meet someone, but this means that you have to do some, some of the little bit of things that you don't want to do, which might be updating your profile on social media or on, a, on an online dating site. Um, perhaps this means setting that first date, actually, you know, and, and maybe you feel a little hesitant about meeting in person. And so, but going and doing that. So this is to, to get past that little bit of friction, the thing that's holding you back, and then things can happen. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, the sun's making a sextile to Uranus. So there is an opportunity for the two of you to be closer over the next two weeks to find more things in common, more things where you can support each other. So this means uh, that someone has to take action. And since I am reading for you right now, that means you need to take the, the action you need to initiate. And when you do, then something good can happen. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from Mercury, which is now sitting in a money house. So you have some big opportunities. These opportunities are much more centered around um, your own business or investments right now. There may be some uh, opportunities for you to create passive income sources. And, you know, this is just a two-week period, so this is setting these things in motion. And then they could pay you over a longer term. Uh, this also could be starting a business or expanding your business. Uh, this could be even just getting the concept of the business so that you can start to do your business plan or start to do 
general planning on your business. So you definitely have some great opportunities. Of course, Mars is still in Gemini, which is also in a money house and is ruled by that Mercury. So you're pulling in all of these different sources of income right now. And so this is just open your mind to the possibilities and look around because uh, the universe says, here are some doors that you can go through. And when you do, there are opportunities there. Now, when we look specifically at income from business and money from your investments, you're making about the same as usual because Mercury is not making an aspect to Neptune. However, Mercury is closing in on Neptune and they're both in the same sign. And so we see that that the promise of money is there, it's getting closer. And so this is, you know, that people are saying they are gonna pay you, the check is in the mail. And I do think that that check will arrive. It'll be in your hands. I think it's just outside this two week period. So I think over the two weeks, you're making about the same as usual. And then going forward after that, you could be making quite a bit more. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, the Mercury here is in a money house, and this does mean that you could get some perks. Uh, and that is in lieu of actual cash, because this Mercury is not making a lot of aspects in this chart, uh, I would say that this is, you're more likely to get some sort of benefit. That would be like free movie tickets or discount on insurance or, uh, that you get some more flexibility in um, maybe your schedule, uh, that you get more assistance. Uh, you know, maybe they will get you a laptop so you can work at home or that they get you an actual assistant. So you, you have opportunities that way. If you're asking just directly for cash, you might run into some issues. So I think that it would be better to be very flexible here and look for things that you value that are not exactly money. Okay, Virgo, this is your full moon, which marks the halfway period in your lunar year. So the, you are now entering your harvest period that will last for about three months. And so this energy is very much about thinking about the projects that you've been working on and getting those completed. It's about looking at taking things to the next level. And that is, you know, if you're just dating, maybe moving that relationship forward. Or if, if you think it can't move forward, maybe looking for an exit so that you can then get ready to start something new. So this is a time where you're looking at where everything is in the process and seeing if you need to make some adjustments, first of all, but mostly how you can capitalize on what you've already accomplished. Now, at the same time, Saturn is going to go into Pisces and that's your opposition sign. So this is going to be a quite a significant time for you and not just when it transits in, into Pisces, but also over the course of this next couple of years. And so there can be many big opportunities for you and each one of them is going to be outside of your comfort zone. The universe is going to offer you many different gifts, but that each one will come with a lesson. They're gonna come with some strings attached because the universe wants you to grow. The universe wants you to get from a place of fear and lack and, and scarcity, which is like lack, and move into a, this energy of co-creating with the universe to understand that that you're making choices that you get to decide what is happening to you and when you own that then different and and wonderful things can happen but certainly different things can happen so now i'm saying all of this it, it's a two-year process and so but you may have some things start to change as early as this cycle over the next couple of weeks. And so look at the things that are changing and trust yourself that you have the abilities to handle things because when you get past the lesson, you will discover the gift. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, even though this full moon is in relationship houses for you, 
and Saturn's going to go into a relationship house for you. Uh, right now, uh, the Mercury's not making an aspect to Saturn. And so this is more you letting people come to you. Don't be pursuing right now. Just, you know, stay back. Uh, you might feel like you want to pursue someone. You might feel like, you know, that you want to answer their text right away and make sure this conversation keeps going. But just step back, give it a little breathing room. If somebody has texted you, maybe, maybe wait an hour or two, maybe even half a day. It's so that you can just be calm and centered in yourself. But there are some opportunities to be approached by people during this time, but basically you should let people come to you. And then when we look at your existing love relationship, again, you're doing lots of energy in your relationship houses. However, there's no aspect going on between Mercury and Neptune. And so therefore this relationship is kind of moving along without a lot of interaction between the two of you. That means that, you know, you're busy in your side of the house, they're busy on their side of the house. And, and so you're not really working on the relationship and that's okay because What's going to happen is as these changes come into your life, you're going to have to be a united front. You're going to have to come together in the future. And so right now it is okay that you are just moving this relationship along as it has been going, because when the changes come, then you'll come together and work out things together. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Venus, which is in a money house. And so this is a time where there are opportunities for you to make money. So a lot of these are going to be centered around investments, passive income sources, or uh, your own business. But there is also the ability to gain money through uh, people investing in you in some way. And that could be crowdfunding, getting a loan, maybe from the Small Business Administration, or getting a loan uh, or money from family. So you do show that if money is coming in, the resources are there when you need it. So it's time to move forward on some business ideas because as you do, then the resources will appear. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, so like a paycheck, the moon is making an inconjunct to Venus. So there, there's a potential of getting a raise, but it's going to have a big caveat with it, which means that the, it's likely that they're going to say, yes, you can have the money, but here's a big project, or please manage this very unmanageable team, or take on something that is going to cause you to work extra hours. There's going to be some sort of, you know, extra thing you have to do to get this raise. So you may want to just wait, especially if you are working on a side business and you want to put your time and energy into that. Uh, it is also possible that you're just going to be approached with this idea, uh, you know, of doing this thing. And that is then your opportunity to say, I will do this, but I need a raise to do it. And so uh, make sure that if you are giving them something, that you're getting something in return especially with this aspect. Okay, Libra, you guys are doing this full moon in your 12th house. It's lighting up your intuition, uh, your connection with the universe, you know, that personal spirituality, as well as lighting up where you are uh, doing too much of something, you know, where you might be addicted to something or obsessed with something where you're too focused on something in your life and you need to free yourself of that. Uh, this also can be where um, you have kind of strayed off of your path. So now your path is lit up and you say, oh, this is not the path I wanted to be on. And so this can mean you can course correct. Now, at the same time, Saturn is leaving your fifth house, and that is about creativity, personal expression, fun, pleasure, etc. So you may feel this pressure like, I got to have fun right now. If I don't have fun now, I'm never going to have fun again. It also can feel like other people are putting pressure on you and saying you're not any fun. And why aren't you fun? And why aren't you coming out? Why are you doing work, etc.? So you may feel the pressure inside and outward, but this is just because of the transition of this planet. It doesn't mean that things are going to, you know, be over like you never have fun again. Uh, it it actually means that the restrictions on fun are going away. The restrictions on personal expression are going away. But it can feel like this is the end of something, and so and other people can 
reiterate that and say, yes, we feel it's the end of something. You must do this now, but it's not necessary. This is just a transition of a planet and it can feel like there's pressure, but when you get to the other side, you're going to actually feel a release of pressure. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, Venus is making a semi-sextile to Uranus, and you have some nice planets in relationship houses right now, so this means that you have some opportunities to meet someone new. Now, the semi-sextile does mean that you have to actually get there. You, know, you have to get out of the house and do it, or you have to get dressed up and go do that. There, there's something you have to do that you're feeling resistant about, and once you get past that, then things can flow. So maybe it's going to a new place and you're not sure where to park. There's some little detail that's bugging you. And so once you get past that, you can meet somebody. Now, when it comes to your existing love relationship, Venus is making a sextile to Mars and you have some very good energy with Jupiter there and Venus in your house of relationships. So there's a lot of good energy here for solving problems, for working things out, for dealing with past issues. Uh, you can move this relationship forward. Uh, all you have to do is you need to take the first step um, because in a sextile, you have to initiate the action. And so that is to say, you know, let's sit down and talk about something that you felt hurt about. And, and so, and you can open up the conversation and in the process of the conversation, then you can discuss how you felt and how they felt and you can do some real healing. So I see good things for your relationship over the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to friendships, uh, you have a semi-sextile going on between uh, Sun and Venus, and so there are some opportunities for friendships. You know, I, I'm going to sound like a little broken record, but with the semi-sextile, you have to get past a little bit of friction, and, and maybe that's that, that little bit of a force field on the front door that just says, oh, I don't really want to go out today. And so, but if you do, then great opportunities will happen. So that is, there may be a social event to go to, but you're not sure if you want to go or some sort of networking or maybe just reaching out to someone who wants to introduce you to their friends. So, but you're hesitating. And if you can get past that hesitation, you could meet someone new. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Pluto, which is going to be transitioning into a new sign briefly and then going back into its old familiar place. And so that'll be very interesting. We'll talk about that more uh, over the summer where there's going to be a lot of new ideas, a lot of new possibilities. And yet some of the old stuff you've been working on is not yet finished. And so Pluto will return so you can finish up that stuff. And so anything you can finish in the meantime would be good. You're also pulling money from that Mars, which continues to go through your house of education. That is, this is a time to really be honing your skills. You need to get skills to a level where you can put them on your resume with confidence, where you can tell others, this is what I do. And I find that a lot of times when I want to learn something, the best way to learn something is to try to answer a question. So if if I'm going to, say, learn another language, I'm not going to try to memorize the dictionary. What I'm going to try to do is answer the question of, you know, how can I ask where the hotel is? How can I order a cup of coffee? So, you know, if we are looking at what it is that we're trying to solve, whether that is, you know, if you're doing video editing, like, how do I color correct this particular frame or this particular section? Uh, if you are, you know, just learning basics in technology, this might be something like, um, you know, how do I post my resume online and how do I update my resume, etc. So right now that Mars has a little bit more time in your house of education. And so that is really double down, learn some skills, get comfortable with these through repetition, and that's going to bring you more money. Now, when it comes to money derived from uh, investments or from your own business, uh, Venus is not making an aspect to Pluto, but it's making a nice sextile to Mars. So there is an opportunity. It seems to be around connecting with other people. 
And so as you connect with other people, they, then you could make more profits. And so obviously, if that's your own business, that might be marketing, uh, you know, or reaching out to people and sending them the invoice for the services you've already done. This may be contacting your broker or some sort of professional who's going to help you with investing. So, uh, but you need to initiate this action. And when you do, you could make more money than usual. Now, when it comes to money derived from your career, so like a paycheck, the sun is making a semi-square to Pluto and a square to Mars. So this is one of the strongest opportunities you've had in a while to get more money. So this means you do want to corner your, your boss and say, let's sit down and talk about where my career is heading. It is also possible that the because these aspects are so strong that your boss is going to corner you and say, let's sit down and talk about it. But that does mean that you still need to think about how much you want, start negotiating for what kind of raise you want and what other perks you want. There are going to be some opportunities, maybe, uh, and some obligations like travel as a possibility. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you consider that a perk. Maybe that's going to be challenging for you. So you need to think about the things they might ask in that offering, but you could make more money um, and, and get a raise over the next two weeks. Okay, Scorpio, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up your 11th house. This is about technology, friendships, community, and also your future. And so these are the things that you're going to be really focused on during this time. Now, that can mean that you're upgrading your computer system, which it's a good idea because we have nothing retrograde right now. Uh, this may be that you are going in and doing some more work in organizations or uh, maybe you're doing more Zoom meetings, uh, you know, uh, with different groups you belong to or things like that. So now also Saturn is, of course, going to be changing signs. And we're going to talk a lot more about this as we go forward. But what's happening right now is it's leaving your house of home and family. And so this, when people aren't aware of astrology and they don't know this is happening, then they can just feel very compelled by their own feelings. And the feelings everyone's having right now is that something's coming to an end. And people don't like when things come to an end. And so they tend to grab hold and try to hold on to something. And so there can be this feeling like, either something really needs to be finished or that, that people are going to lose something. And so you may be getting a lot of pressure from family members about all different kinds of things, but the, the one uh, unifying fact would be family members who are going through this, who are thinking that, you know, something's ending and it cannot end or something must end and it must end right away. And so all of these deadlines may or may not be true in their own charts, but the, the overall feeling is that it has to happen now. And so I just wanted to let you know to, you know, understand where they're coming from. They're, they're not really trying to, well, they are trying to push you towards something that would make them feel better. But as they're doing that, you, then you can realize that maybe through your words, you can uh, make them feel more calm so that you don't feel so bandied about by all the different members of your family. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, uh, Pluto is making that sextile to Neptune, which is lovely. But more importantly, you have Mercury, Sun, and Neptune in that house. And that means there are opportunities to meet someone new. Uh, you know, we always talk about this, that you have this opportunity. You know, the, the sextile energy is it's not like the trine. The, the trine is, you know, that, that your friend needs a wedding cake and you call up the bakery and they say, you know, congratulations, you've you've won a free cake, well delivered for free. No, the sextile is you your friend needs a wedding cake and you call up the bakery and they say, yeah, you can come by and then you go by and then you pay the money and then they hand you the cake and you have to deliver it. You have to take these actions. But ultimately everything works out. In fact, the sextile is actually more about how things happen normally. And so when it comes to love relationships, that's the energy that you're doing that, you know, you, you meet somebody and you set up that first date and you see how it goes, or you put yourself on online dating. And if you don't see the results you want, then you change your profile, you change your pictures. So 
it is take an action and then you get the results. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, there's no aspect going on right now between uh, Venus and Pluto. Uh, so there is, though, a sextile between Venus and Mars. So you can use that energy. Again, you know, you just heard me talk about the sextiles. You're like, no more sextiles. But, you know, a sextile is a good aspect. I think in general with your love relationship, that things are just going along as usual. You seem quite focused on creative projects right now, also work and service to others. Like you're very busy right now. And so you may not have a lot of time to spend with each other. Uh, you might, you know, be doing your stuff in your side of the house. They're doing their stuff in their side of the house. And you're coming together as a team, but maybe not interacting as much. And so, but there is that sextile with your co-ruler. And so you might want to, you know, just initiate something if you want to do that. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Jupiter, which is now solidly in Aries and also in the middle of your house of work and routine. So everything right now is about uh, getting stuff done. How can you be more efficient? How can you be more productive? How can you get things finished and out the door? And so that is, you know, if it's, if you're looking for a job, that would be updating your resume and getting it off to people, writing the cover letters and getting that off to people, reaching out to people through LinkedIn. If this is your own business, this might be updating your website, sending out your marketing materials on a regular basis, answering customers' questions. So there are lots and lots of opportunities, lots of tiny little things that you need to do. And when you do those, that can bring you more money. Now, when it comes to your investments or money derived from your business, uh, Jupiter's making a semi-sextile to Mercury. So there are some opportunities. I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken record. This is the semi-sextile energy, which is not even as comfortable as a sextile. This is doing the little things, you know, making sure that no customer's email gets lost, that you see the notification of change of service uh, or change of terms of service with your broker, like you pick up on those little details and that's what can make you more money during this time. It does say that you'll probably make a little more than usual, uh, not a huge amount. Uh, you have some bigger opportunities coming up. They're not quite here yet, but uh, you know, this is a good time to plant seeds for bigger opportunities in the future. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, and that's like a paycheck, that energy and shifts to that you can get more money in your job. However, you will be asked to do more hours or more work or take on a bigger project or handle a bigger team or something. So there's going to be a quid quo pro. <laughs> so as she stumbles over her, <laughs> her little bit of Latin, there's going to be this, this back and forth a sort of energy um, where you have to give something to get something. And so... Uh, you have to think about whether you want it. The, the one real plus right now for this is that the full moon is there, and it's, so it's lighting up this, this house. So you may really feel like, hey, I should be getting more money, which obviously, yes. So, but the, you also, it also is lighting up maybe the facts around your company, and maybe the company, company is at a point where it doesn't know how it's going to be doing. Maybe it's waiting for a big contract or something like that. Uh, again, this energy is going to line up better in a month or so. So you may just want to hang on until you get the good energy. Okay, Sagittarius, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up the top of your chart. Uh, this is your 10th house. This is career, reputation, social standing, um, how you are seen in the world. And so this is a really strong time where you are more noticeable than usual. Uh, that you people will find you, they will, you know, you can get your social media followed more, uh, your, uh, your resume rises to the top. So there's a lot of opportunity here. Now, at the same time, Saturn is going to be leaving your third house and crossing that very important Midheaven IC line, which does mean that some major changes are going to be happening to you uh, or for you. <laughs> to you sounds good dire, but um, these are opportunities I think that you're looking for, and these are going to unfold over the next year or so. 
Uh, but right now, what's happening is there's going to be a lot of pressure on finishing things. And not just you're putting pressure on yourself, but other people are going to be putting pressure on you because this is coming out of your house of paperwork and communication and thinking and, and these types of activities. So you may get pressure on you about contracts. Uh, maybe you need to sign another lease and, you know, they may send it to you early and then put pressure on you to say, this must be signed because people who are not specifically following astrology just follow the energies, but they don't know why it's happening and they don't know when it stops. And so, you know, during this two week period, you could feel a lot of pressure to, you know, digitize all your paperwork or to get your taxes done or, or to do something along the lines of paperwork. But you know that this energy is just because Saturn is changing signs, that they're these things may not have those actual deadlines. So uh, so that is, be aware that other people are going to be pushing a lot. And this also means that when you're out driving, they're going to be a little stressed. So do be careful when you're driving. Um, avoid angry people when you're driving. If you see somebody driving, you know, ragefully, uh, then try to get into another lane and avoid them. Because again, a lot of people are feeling, feeling really stressed. They don't know why, they don't know when it's going to stop because they don't follow the charts. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, Mars is not making an aspect with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is in that house and Venus is in that house. So you've got some good energy there. But I think that what this is saying is you should just right now for the next two weeks, just wait for someone to come to you rather than you pursuing someone, and that will give you time and energy to go pursue your own things. So try to put your love life out of your mind and let somebody knock on your door. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, Mercury is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. So there is some need right now to work on some of the smaller things. And so some of the pressure that I was just talking about, where someone is saying something has to be finished, could be coming from your partner. And they, of course, they could have a different chart entirely. And so they're feeling pressure in their own areas, but the, where they're going to put pressure on you is in this area of, of decisions and paperwork and contracts and things like that. So there, there you may have some little bits of friction between the two of you. But if you can get past that, or if you can understand that, that they're, they're feeling some stress in their area, and if you can address that, then things can get very smooth between the two of you. And you may actually work out something between the two of you around communication. You might have certain words that are kind of triggers for each other where the word doesn't bother you, but for the your partner, it brings up all kinds of nightmare scenarios. So, so, and you might look at that and that could be vice versa. So, so thinking about that, learning to communicate better is an opportunity that you have this time. Now, when it comes to friendships, you have some really great energy because Venus is making a conjunction to Jupiter. Now, that means that when you go out into the world, you could meet like-minded people who want to have a friendship, who want to get together and do fun things. So this, I really encourage you to go out when you're out in the world and see people as potential friends and then see who... Uh, you know, connects with you. And you could meet somebody who you find interesting, who's fun to do things with, who could become a long-term friendship. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Saturn, which is the big star right now because it's changing signs. And so that means that there are some big things that are changing and that's going to bring you new opportunities. These are opportunities right now that are going to be very hard to see because when something changes signs like this, it, it brings such brand new energy that it, these are things you're not even thinking of right now. But well, the most important thing right now is to be open to change, to understand that change is going to be beneficial, that, you know, sometimes we can get very uh, afraid when we hear that things are going to change and we forget how much change we've already been through, how many different scenarios where our entire world changed and we were okay. So consider that 
that this change is going to bring new opportunities. Some of these will be outside of your comfort zone. Some of these will, you'll be able to just slide right into easily. So, but right now, the thing to do is to finish up on old lessons, old issues, let go if possible of limitations, limiting beliefs, uh, let go of debt if possible, like let go of something so that you can have your hands free to welcome in something new. Now, when it comes to money derived from your business or from investments, the moon's not making an aspect with Saturn right now, so you're making about the same as usual. Uh, it's quite possible that you're so focused elsewhere that your business and your investments just need to run by themselves, and that's okay. Sometimes, you know, that's good, and or you might have it set up so it does that, and so this isn't a time where you're paying a lot of attention to it anyway. Now, there may be some paperwork required because of all that stuff we were talking about with Saturn, and so make sure that you do handle that if there is a hard deadline to that. If it's a soft deadline, if somebody is just saying, oh, I just, I want it back right now, then you can, you know, maybe take more time, but right now, I think you're making about the same as usual. And then when we look at money derived from career, so that's like a paycheck, uh, Saturn's not making an aspect with Venus. And right now is not a great idea for you to push towards a raise. If you are offered something, it, it's probably going to be months away. You know, it'll be more of an offer. We'll talk about this over the summer or we'll talk about this in, you know, five months or something. So, but right now you're not showing a lot of energy in that area. So it's best not to push it. If you're looking to make more money, you need to look towards other avenues. Okay, Capricorn, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up your house of, uh, teaching, learning, uh, writing, publishing, travel, also legal matters. And so this is where your focus is. This is all the ninth house. And so you might be looking to take a class, to teach a class, uh, to think about going somewhere. You might be itching to go somewhere. Uh, and so they, these are where your opportunities are. And then, of course, Saturn is getting ready to change signs, which means that it's going to be leaving your house of money. And this is actually good news because this means that the restrictions that have been on your income are leaving. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time to get it clear. This is not going to just happen over a two-week period, but you're going to see over the course of the next weeks or months that money does get easier, which is fantastic. Now, this also, though, does mean that you are coming to a point where you need to finally get any sort of uh, system in place for keeping track of your money. If you don't keep track of your money, then even when the new money comes in, it's just going to go right out again. So this would be, uh, you know, the time where if you've been meaning to get a written budget together or to set up some automatic deposits or things like that, try to do that. You also may feel a lot of pressure from other people at this time because they, everyone is going through this transition of Saturn and, and they're doing it in different areas, but it's all filtered in your life through money and money matters. And so that means that everything seems to translate into somebody wanting money from you and they have a deadline. Maybe they moved up the deadline or maybe they owe you money and they're saying, ah, oh, I can't pay right now. And so there, there is this kind of, you know, you're trying to pull money or hold something back or things like that. A lot of this pressure you need to realize is just pressure because Saturn's at a critical degree. And in a couple of weeks, this is going to be much better. So Try not to feel all turned around about this. When somebody makes demands, see if those demands are legitimate and then satisfy them, you know, the legitimate ones if you can. Uh, be careful about people trying to force some, you to do something uh, with your money very quickly. If there are not real demands, you know, nothing external that says you must do this right now. If they're just saying, oh, the sale's going to go away, or if you don't do this right now, you know, your accounts are in trouble or something, you know, take a moment and breathe. Uh, you know, you don't want to just fall into this idea that something has to be done right away. At least take an hour and think it through. Ask a friend, etc. 
once we get clear of this energy, you're going to have a lot of new opportunities, and we'll talk about those in some future videos. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, Venus is not making an aspect with Saturn, and you only, you have a North Node in that house, which actually can impede things at times, because the North Node kind of tries too hard, and so this might be a two-week period where you just kind of lay back and allow yourself to be found. The moon is very elevated in your chart, so you're quite visible right now. If you get out of the house, people do see you. And so if you go to some social events, especially something around education, travel, religion, something like that, you could meet someone new, but let them approach you. Uh, because during this two-week period, the, the energy for you is just not there. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, things are just going along very much as they have in the past. Uh, this is because there's no aspect between Moon and Saturn. Now, do realize that your partner is, they also have, you know, Saturn changing signs in their chart as well. So they may be feeling a great deal of pressure in some area, and then you may be hearing them just talk about money. And that is either because they have a similar chart than you, or that that's the only words that you're hearing right now, because that's where Saturn is for you. So, but I think for the most part, your relationship is going on pretty well, that you're both doing your own thing and not necessarily having you know, stress over this. But if you do find any periods of stress, just recognize that it's your partner, they're stressed, they're not understanding that this energy is changing signs. And when you tell them, maybe they'll say, oh, okay, I'm okay now. Now, when it comes to friendships, uh, Saturn's making a semi-sextile to Pluto and the South Node's still going through that house. And so there is an opportunity to reconnect with someone from your past and re-establish a friendship. So there's a semi-sextile here, so it's a little bit of effort to hunt down their email or to get on Facebook and send them a message or something like that. But if you do that little effort, you could be rewarded. Now, when it comes to your money, you have some very interesting energy here because your money is primarily ruled by Uranus, which is very solidly in Taurus. It's at 15 degrees. You can't get more solid than that. So it knows what it's doing, you know, and so you have a plan and you want to follow this plan, but your house of money is also co-ruled by Saturn, which means that everything is changing. And so this may be that your plan is in place and now that circumstances externally are changing, that you might need to make some minor adjustments in your plans. But it also could mean that your plan is in place and things are changing externally and now you have more opportunities than ever. And so you may want to look at the things that are changing and say, how can I use this? And maybe that's around all the AI stuff that's going on. Uh, you know, maybe this is in how, you know, employee-employer relations are changing. So there's things going on and those changes could bring you more opportunities. It's time to think this through. Now, when it comes to money from your business or from your investments, you're making more than usual because, or at least you can, because the sun is making a sextile to Uranus. Now, that means you have an opportunity to make more money. Uh, you have to take an action. That's the little caveat. You have to do something, and then the money comes in. But it's so strong that I would say that this is something you're going to probably do anyway. You're probably going to move forward on some different things, you know, sending out the invoices or talking to your broker or things. And so you have a good opportunity to make more money over the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, let, so that's like a paycheck, you do have an opportunity here. It's a semi-sextile for both of the aspects, uh, Mars and Uranus and Saturn and Pluto. And so a semi-sextile says that there is some little bit of friction. And so maybe there's some reason that the boss is hesitant. Maybe they're hesitant to just set up the meeting, maybe because your review is coming up in a month or two, or maybe they there's some sort of freeze that is getting unfrozen now, and so, but it's not quite, you know, like there's some little hesitation. And once you get past that, some good things can happen. So look at whatever it is that the, your supervisor says is the problem and see if you can't solve it. It may be easier to solve than you think. 
Okay, Aquarius, you guys are doing this full moon lighting up your house of resources. This is also about control, power, intimacy. This is your eighth house. This is where the spotlight is. And so that means that, you know, you're looking at your, perhaps your investments and seeing what you can do, where you can expand um, in your area of intimacy, maybe taking a relationship to a more intimate level. This is also about looking at where you have power in your life. And if you feel like you're powerless in a lot of areas to see how you can shift that dynamic, what could give you a sense of power. Maybe that's having a stronger resume so you could leave a job. Um, maybe that is, uh, you know, having less debt so that you don't feel like there's pressure from others. You know, maybe that means combining with somebody, you know, like getting a roommate or something so that you can get the more money so you have less debt, that sort of thing. So this is a looking at power dynamics uh, for the next two weeks. Now, at the same time, Saturn is getting ready to leave your own sign, which means that the restrictions that have been on you around your physical expression, your energy, your vitality are going to leave, which is yay. So over the next two weeks, though, you may feel a little bit drained. You may feel a little bit tired because there is this kind of push-pull where Saturn wants to get to the new sign, but we don't like a lot of change, so we kind of hold on and say, mm, you know, I don't want this to happen yet. And so expect there to be this kind of wibbly-wobbly, you know, you're not sure if you have energy. This is nothing, you know, that's going to last. This is, you know, at the most, it's going to be this two weeks. And then you're going to feel more energy and more ability to go into social situations and work situations and be the leader. So I think that these last two and a half years have taught you many lessons about this and you're stronger because of it. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, uh, Mercury's not making an aspect with Uranus. And the only thing you've got above the horizon, you've got Pluto just on the horizon and then the moon is in that house of intimacy. So basically, the person that you would meet would be one just for a physical relationship. They're not looking for long term. And so if that's not what you're looking for, then it's probably best to just put love on hold for a couple of weeks and uh, allow this energy to pass. If you are approached, know that even if they're talking long term, they're more thinking something very physical and very immediate. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, the energy is much better. You're doing a sextile between Sun and Uranus. And so the two of you are coming together, noticing how much you share values, uh, how you're sharing your goals, how you are more on the same page. Now, there is some still some issues around what you call something and what they call something. And so you don't maybe recognize completely that you're on the same page, but you can when you talk it out. And so, you know, you might say that you want security and the other person says they want safety and those sound maybe similar and, but you have to kind of define it and figure it out. But when you do, then you have more harmony and more happiness in your relationship. Now, when it comes to friendships, Jupiter's making a semi-sextile to Uranus. So you do have an opportunity to uh, meet someone for a friendship or reconnect with someone from the past. And this is, uh, it's, it's just a little bit of, there's a little bit more trouble attached to it in the beginning. And that is that, you know, you have to get out of the house or you have to, uh, text someone or, you know, find them on Facebook or something. There's a little bit of work you have to do, but when you do that, then some good things happen. So expect it to not be smooth at the beginning and then it gets better. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Neptune, which is still in your house of money and Jupiter, which is now solidly in Aries. It is almost at the halfway point. And this is, means that you are probably having multiple ideas. Ideas are coming in fast and furious, you know, quicker than you can write them down. And yet it's important that you write these down because all of these ideas, you're gonna be able to really work on and implement and see what's viable as Jupiter finishes out Aries and goes into Taurus, and that's going to be towards May and June, etc. So 
it's quite important right now for you to be logging this information, the, the inspiration that you have, you know, talk it into your phone, write it in your journal, because you have a lot of ideas on how you can make money and, and different areas where you could get resources. That's all coming in right now. Now, when it comes to your business or money from your investments, you're making about the same as usual. It's interesting because the moon has highlighted that area. So you've got a spotlight on that area. But what you may discover is that, you know, it's like not quite time to sell investments or maybe you need to look at, you know, what's going on with all the fees that are going out. And the same thing with your business. You're more looking at the structure of your business. You might be taking a flashlight into the, the back room of the business and seeing how inventory is flowing, you know, how the delivery process is, looking at those things. So overall, I think you're making about the same as usual. Although I should say you could make a discovery that brings you money more profits in the future. And so that's why you want to take this spotlight and shine it on this area of your life. Now, when it comes to money derived from your career, there's no aspect going on right now between Jupiter and Neptune. Now, Neptune's in a money house, and that's a plus. Um, but Jupiter is basically in that house of communication. So some of it is there may be some issues around how you're communicating what it is that you want, or maybe you're not asking for the raise because it's hard to ask for a raise. Uh, so, but it also could be that if you feel that, that you can't get a raise, that, that the, you, you don't have that kind of relationship with the boss, the company's not open to it, it may be time for you to start looking about making a change in that area. And so as Saturn is changing over this next few weeks, maybe look at where your career is going and see if a change would be wise. This might be something that happens as Jupiter goes into Taurus. And so that could be something maybe starting around May or later. Okay, Pisces, you guys are doing this full moon, lighting up your house of relationships. And this is also partnerships, collaborations, work-life balance. This is your seventh house. And so you are more visible right now to others and others are more visible to you. And so you can go into social situations and meet new people. Uh, you can instantly see whether this person could be good in your life or difficult in your life. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, find people who maybe they have been too hesitant to approach, you know, or maybe they've been too busy or something. And now it becomes visible that there could be a good connection between you. Now, at the same time, Saturn is poised to go into your sign. And so there, and we'll be talking about that for many months, uh, because it's, it's almost a three year transit. So, uh, but in the meantime, it is sitting at a very powerful place in your chart of completions. And so this is where it is very necessary right now for you to look at what needs to be finished in your life and see what you can get done in the next two weeks. Of course, there's going to be some things that just cannot be finished in that time. And so, and I talked about this before, but specifically for you this time, it's necessary for you to look and see what things maybe can't be finished and but can be launched as they are or can be cold completed as they are and what things just need to be let go of and allow them just to pass away because they they are just not necessary in your life anymore the the knowledge that you needed the, the puzzle piece that you were gaining from this you have and so you don't need to finish it so now, at the same time, you're going to get a lot of pressure from other people who are also feeling this desire to finish things. So a lot of people are going to be asking for you to get back to them really fast and, you know, we'll go back and, you know, finish paperwork or, you know, make a commitment or things like that. So you're going to feel a lot of pressure from people all around you. And this is because they're not aware that this energy is changing signs and so that, that they're going to put artificial deadlines around things just because they can feel this is something's changing something we have to do something now so be aware that the pressure from others may or may not be true if they're some sort of authority then maybe you have to do what they say but if they're just somebody randomly in your life you may not have to 
adhere to their deadline. And so you want to be aware that other people are going to feel stressed. And so we have to just give them some extra space. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, uh, moon's, the moon's not making an aspect with Neptune. Now, the moon is in a relationship house, Neptune's in a relationship house. So the energy for relationships in general for, general for you is very strong. But it, it's not lining up so ideally right now. So honestly, I would just wait for someone else to make the first move and because they're probably doing the aspect. And if... If neither of you are doing the aspect, then just wait until you get outside this two-week period to make that connection. So continue to text each other or talk on the phone, but maybe save the first in-meeting for outside this two-week period. Or if they're pursuing you and they're asking you out, then you can say yes and, and then let them sit this up and, and move this forward. So, but right now there's no aspect going on. So this means when you're trying to pursue someone and when you're trying to nail them down for a first date and all that, it's just not going to connect. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, Mercury's not making an aspect with Neptune. And so, again, you've got great energy in your houses of relationship, but there's still a little bit of a disconnect. So it seems like you and your partner are coming together, but you're very focused on your stuff and they're very focused on their stuff. And so there's not a lot of things that you're sharing. There's not a lot of solutions you can have happen. On the other hand, because you have good energy there, you can have a great time. You know, like you just let the little things go and, you know, for at least two weeks and, and say, okay, they don't fill the dishwasher correctly, but that's okay. You'll just let it go for another two weeks. Um, but because otherwise you could have a really nice time. You could just be seen as a great couple and fun and all of that, but you could also have fun. So, uh, that's what I would focus on. Now, when it comes to friendship, Saturn's making a semi-sextile to Neptune. So there's an opportunity to connect with someone and especially people who may be in very powerful positions. Perhaps you knew this person in high school or college and now they're the mayor or, you know, a celebrity. Reach out to those people uh, and also reach out to powerful people in your community. You could make a connection. This is a semi-sextile. So the difficulty is maybe hunting down their email address or, you know, working up the courage to say something to them. So, uh, but once you get past that, the energy is quite good. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Mars, which is still in your house of home and family. This includes real estate, land investments, pooling money together with family members for a business, doing a family business or um, working at home. And so you have all of this energy going on. You're collecting together lots more ideas. You know, maybe you're recognizing that you have family members who know how to build a website or know a lot about sales. And so tapping into that energy, you know, maybe even just talking to parents or grandparents about the businesses they started when they were young and, you know, where, where they see, you know, you heading and what did, you know, like sometimes we're so resistant to the advice that we get because they've just been giving us advice for so long, but maybe stop and say, what is the advice they keep giving me? And maybe to try to embrace it and see if there is something there. Uh, you know, because yes, sometimes advice is given out of fears or limited beliefs or things like that. But sometimes there's something, especially when it's a theme, that could be the valuable information that you need. Now, when it comes to money from your investments or your business, Venus is making a sextile to Mars. So there's opportunities for making more money over the next two weeks. That is when you take some sort of action, when you uh, contact someone, they make a bigger order than you were expecting. Uh, when you put something out into the world, it gets a better response than you were expecting. You just need to take that action and then things can happen. So you have good energy over the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to money derived from career, so this is like a paycheck, Mars is not making an aspect to Saturn. 
And because Saturn is going to change signs, I would suggest that you just wait until we get into the new energy. And that might be in two weeks or longer because, it, you know, Saturn's a long transit you know, through Pisces. And so it needs to kind of work its way in there a little bit before it knows what it's doing. So, um, it, right now, if you were asking about a raise, they're going to put you off anyway. They're going to say, no, you got to wait because this is going to happen or this is going to happen. Or, you know, they're going to say you missed the deadline or whatever. But it's it's all the energy is going to line up much better in the future. And so you just want to wait a little bit because when this does line up, which, as I said, it'll be in the near future, then it will be much easier for you to get more money in your paycheck. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and stay tuned because Luru wants to say hi. Mm -hmm.